Hi friends. Today I'm gonna to read a story to you called Henry the Explorer. And this is a story that, it's old. Um, you can tell that book's pretty, pretty beat up. Um, and let's see when it was published. It was published in 1966. So it's a long time ago. Um, and what you're going to see in this story is something that's, that's interesting, that the way that we used to look at exploring and the way that we, we as a people thought that exploring, how you did exploring, okay? So we'll talk about it. There's the picture, there's Henry and his dog looking out the window. It says, on the night of the blizzard, Henry and Laird Angus McAngus read an exciting book about exploring. So, the next morning after breakfast, Henry got ready to go exploring. He carefully made ready his explorer kit and he made a great many flags in order to claim all the wonderful things he planned to discover. Okay, so he's got his list, he's got it, everything he's packing. And look at this, Henry's making all kinds of flags with a big H on them, a big H for Henry. There's mom. Okay. Where are you and Angus going? Asked Henry's mother. Exploring, said Henry. We will probably discover the whole world before we're through. Well, don't be late coming home, said his mother. Try to finish exploring the world before it gets dark. All right, if a bear doesn't catch us, Henry replied. Okay, and there they go. There's Angus with all the, the flags um, that Henry's gonna use to claim everything he discovers. I wonder if there really are bears out here, Angus, said Henry. We discovered some friendly natives along the way. Okay, so the first question I have is what is a native? And a native is somebody who, who originally lives in the area. Okay, so he's discovered a cow and a goose and some chickens here and some birds. He read his special speech claiming them. So, I do want you to think about that. Henry goes exploring and he is going to claim these. And if you claim something, you're saying that it's yours. It's like saying, um, I saw it first, it's mine. Look at what he's claiming. Henry and Angus went farther and farther. They claimed each great discovery with a flag. So let's look at it. Look at all the things that Henry is claiming with his flags. Okay. Exploring made them very hungry. home, Henry discovered a big, dark forest. In the, in the forest, he discovered a cave. Careful, Angus. Don't wake up any bears. Of course, explorers must be very careful in caves. They have to avoid falling into pits or getting lost. And who knows what those lumpy things among the shadows might be.
What is that? said Henry. A bear? Then Henry knew it was time to leave. But now it was night. He wondered if he could find his way home. When Henry had failed to come home by sundown, his mother was so worried she called the neighbors and the men organized a search. A good explorer can always find his way if he just keeps looking, Henry said to Angus. Henry kept looking for the way home. The searchers kept looking for Henry. At last, Henry found his own trail. He sees his flag. At last, the searchers found Henry's footprints. Now Henry knew home wasn't very far away. When she saw him, Henry's mother was overjoyed. Henry, she cried, you have been found. I haven't been lost, said Henry, but I did find a bear. Is supper ready? The searchers soon arrived and they were glad to hear that Henry was safely home. His trail led us right to the door, they said. Come in and have some coffee, said Henry's mother. Henry said good night. Henry was happy after a long day of exploring and meeting bears. This is a good book about jungles, he said. I think we should explore the jungle next. Angus thumped his tail in agreement. But first, said Henry, we'll have to make more flags. That's the end.